going to show you guys a variation of the traditional beef brazala, which is air dried beef. The whole process of air drying that beef with the curing and everything takes about two to three, even four months sometimes, depending on the size of the cut of beef. And it originates from a small valley, the Valtellina in northern Italy. I used to live up in northern Italy around that area, so I learned to make it from some locals up there and really, really enjoyed the whole process of curing and it does take a long time uh, but the rewards at the end are absolutely huge to sit down with a piece of meat whether it's duck or tuna or beef whatever that you cured and and taste that with beautiful bread and a glass of wine is something that you can't really explain unless you've done it. it's a really great feeling so to give you guys the opportunity uh, if you don't live in northern Italy or you don't have a lot of experience making charcuterie I thought I'd show you this variation of the brazala recipe using duck breast and the great thing with the duck breast is because it's smaller, you can turn the whole process around in within a month and you don't need kind of caves or cellars or special uh, equipment to kind of dry that in. You can do the whole thing with just a few ingredients and a little bit of space in your fridge, not too much at all. And I did do a recipe for this duck brazala in my second book many years ago. And I'm gonna show you guys a half portion today or a half recipe from that book. To get started, you'll need an eighth of a cup of rock salt, just under a teaspoon of freshly cracked pepper, a half tablespoon of sugar, I'm using raw granulated sugar, a good pinch of dried red chili, some fresh thyme, and some fresh sage, and about 500 grams of fresh duck fillets. Start by finely chopping the thyme, and then do the same for the sage. Once you've chopped those herbs, you can pop them into a mixing bowl along with all the ingredients except the duck. Mix all the ingredients together using your hands. Really thoroughly rub that dry mixture all over the duck and make sure you do it on both sides as well. And then fold the baking paper. Once you've got the combination of ingredients really thoroughly rubbed over the entire surface area of the duck and it's wrapped in baking paper, you can pop it onto a plate as I have and that goes into the fridge for four days. This has been sitting in the fridge for four days now. Uh, at the two day mark I've flipped it over so it cures evenly and now all we need to do is tie it up with string and hang it in the fridge. To tie the duck up, make a slip knot and then loop it once or twice over the duck. and fold it right through the end there so you've got a nice bit of string there to actually hang it off. Lay the duck breast side by side, then I'm gonna use this chopstick to secure the remaining string from the duck breast onto. This ingenious little chopstick motion allows you to hang them kind of in a container. You could use a jar or anything really. Metal's not really good, but glass or plastic's okay. And I'll hang them in here, sitting inside the fridge door for three weeks. After three weeks, we can pull this out and you can see there's a lot of slackness on the string where we've had some shrinkage from the duck. And this is ready to go now. You can continue hanging it in the fridge, but I kind of like it just at the three week mark. So good. So if you guys want to get into charcuterie, this is a really great place to start. I always like to eat it as it is, maybe with a little bit of fig and honey on the side. And if you guys want to know more about charcuterie, I've been making it for years, so I can start to make some clips on that. Hit me up in the comment section. Remember, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the clip and have an awesome week.